Welcome back to B D D E, where we like to waste money and have fun. Um, of having a, a blinder of a ride with two ring, uh, two um cold foil libraries, uh, from two boxes, in one case. Let's go for a third. <laughs> um, probably not going to happen, but the only way to find out is by trying. Scene change. Change! Gotta press the button harder. Ah, uh, so we've got two left in this box. Same box. Mark. That's my name. Whichever one wants to come out. Uh, both of them want to come out, eh? Well, let's assume that I'm going to make one as my display, potentially. If not, that's alright. What well, looks more display worthy? Do we want tightness? Is that what we want? Uh, a little tighter, a bit more, you know, curves. Less of a seal break on that. From the car. I, I may actually have one, I just don't realize it because I'm not with my normal stuff. Anyway, let's open one. At least we're going to open the one of them. Uh, I just want to do a quick boop. Hmm. Yeah. This feels a bit loose on the pack. Uh, this... And this feels a bit tighter. Let's keep the tight one. Well, probably has the better. Uh, has, probably has the third braver. For, uh, the third cold for a library, and this one hasn't a common. Anyway, let's open it up. Ah, uh, so. Ooh. And we display. Nice. I swear to God, this has another. Freaking cold foil library. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'll have a library of libraries at this rate. Um, anyway. Nothing too special. Uh, so obviously, I'm late to the party because I don't really um, run all the news as it comes out and creates one little episode. I like to open a box and talk about random crap. So obviously, we have our. Ooh, we have a Mark of the Beast. This also came in full art. Um, stuff. I'm glad I didn't waste the full art on this one because I'm. I just don't care about um, those cards at, in the least. So I'm glad that um, my special card wasn't wasted on that. Uh, I'd like the potential to have a full art wasted waste it on the mark of the beast because I've got. I think I have two of those. I just don't care about them because I'm not going to play them. That's why I'd rather Lunar Ascension or the. Um, uh, the Herald or Edition, because if I can get three of those Heralds, that'll be great, but apparently I can pull libraries easier than I can pull the Heralds of our Edition. Maybe it's just, is just more, libraries are more common. Uh, Take Flight in blue. I like Take Flight as a card. Hello, and just Shackles can go there. Um, yeah, so we have a ban list. Um, finally got rid of that Rosetta Thorns. Yeah! No more Briar in CC, and no more of that stupid bloody Rune Blade poking stick. So happy it's gone. It was too... It was just too good. Like, it was very easy to meet the condition, because the, you're just doing what you want anyway. Um, minimalism in red. Sort of same thing with minimalism. Uh, minimalism and uh, whatever. Those two cards as a pair, um, but so easy. And then so you're just putting two and two down. So that's four for uh, a resource and very easy conditions to meet. And worst comes to worst, it's one for two just to um, waste a, a card you don't want. Second swing in yellow. Never played that. Not yellow anyway. Played it in... Um, uh, play, I've played it uh, in my Kasai deck in the red and a blue format, but I just found it's nowhere near as good as um, putting something down that gives Dominate. So I always prefer that one. I forget what the card's called the mid. Uh, we got those uh, off-coloured Rainbow Falls coming back. Uh, Phantasm Loom in the strangely whited... 
um, rainbow foils. If people want one of those misprints, like let me know. I'll sell it to you. Soul food for a regular uh, one. But it is a little weird. Um, we have the Illuminate, one of my favorite looking cards in the set. Um, again, I just like light cards that don't foil, so that's probably why I like lights the most. But also because, you know, Sir Bolton is a awesome hero. I was playing more, but uh, I got tired of shooting this being a one-trick pony. Like, there was really nothing to it uh, at that time. It was, you're playing Sabres, basically you're, you're not going to win, and basically you just sort of poke the bear a little bit, um, frontline scout, and nothing in the back. Um, and you would just uh, occasionally poke the bear, you know, try and charge the soul a little bit, and build up a little bit, of keep yourself, you know, alive. Uh, at a reasonable health, build up enough, and ready to go off, get a, uh, find at least one or two, um, Luminar Ascensions, uh, uh, Yinti Yanti, Yinti Yanti, yeah, yeah, I never bothered to learn that one, another Illuminate, still good card. Uh, Invigoration and Light, also good in that. We have the Deep Rooted Evil. Mm, deep Rooted. No, it's not an evil after that, it's just Deep Rooted. That was a really good attack to open. Whatever. Whatever. Ooh! Are we not getting out of the library, but we got Gold File Boots! Yeah, baby! Not the most expensive boots, but the lovely, lovely warrior boots might be going up if we get some good warriors in the next set. Because who doesn't love a bit of Valiant Dynamos? It's not another library, ladies and gentlemen. It's not another library, but it is a Lacole for a legendary and one that I love very deep, very dear to my heart and my eyes. Um... Okay, and chain, and we don't care about those two rares. That's good. At least it's not a common. No dirty commons here. I was so tempted to open my last pack just to see if I get any common cold foils. If I get, imagine that—a case of no common cold foils. That'd be like fucking just absolute gas. And I, like, I'm not gonna open it just yet. But if I get enough requests. Um, asking me to open it just for the fun of it. Uh, Herald of Triumph in Foily. Um, we use some hammers and the croc thing. I could have my arm twisted to open it and just buy another bo random box later or just open a couple of boxes later. Um, you could twist my arm if you ask nice enough for me to open it. I might just do it. Spew Shadows, just need, probably just need a little nudge. Um, ooh, another Exude Confidence. Still love the card. Nice little, uh, just makes people have to think about it and block it all out. You can bluff people out if you have the blue card or not. The pump. You can hold two blue card, two cards. They could be both blue, but maybe they're not. Um, I love it because of that. Oh, yes. Spear of Serenity. I'm probably going to put that straight into the deck because I probably have unlimited in my, um, uh, Dramai deck. So definitely going to put that aside for my my deck. Um, Dusk's Privilege, Pilgrimage, yeah, thingy. Merciful and Yelled Young, Prison Lady. Mm, uh, what else can we get? Cross the line. So we can still get a um, alt art. Uh, I believe we can. I don't know if that's true. Um, but I believe we can still get an alt art uh, rainbow foil because we're still missing at least one. Hopefully that I'll get that. 
And then this will become three of the best boxes ever. Just because of the cold flows, of course. But hey, I'll take what I can get. I'll take this winning case. Ah, Warlogs. Um, Warmongers. Uh, recital. I keep putting things in the wrong spots. How from uh, beyond. And we have the Tome of Torment. None of these are opening weird. What's, what's good? And I'd already have a call for the, the timer at the dynamos. I may end up just uh, chucking that into for sales, or I might just keep it till the next warrior set comes out. Uh, zealous belting, Tomo glistening, and a galaxy black. Yo, galaxy black. Overpowered for the red rainbow foilies. W hammers and we don't care. Oh, Valiant Dynamos after two hot rainbow uh, two cold foil libraries. <laughs> what a cutsy case. Um Seeping Shadows. Dreamweavers. Yeah, some lights and some bloody rise above it's never going to rise above any other all those guys i wonder if um they'll ever go into a rotational format they never said they would but they never said they'd do x y or z but here we are and doing b y and d another one of these um more glossy ones we have a soul harvest which is always cool rares and a chain. Because, yeah, like, single boxes for this set is not very expensive at the moment. Like, 200 bucks, 250 maybe at, uh, on the high end. Brandish. Ironhide. Phantasm. And we got a Vaulting Blade. Almost at the end. Almost at the end. Almost there. Uh, let's see what we get. Express Lightning! And we have a Herald of Judgment and a way too long of a name. I have a card, please. I mean, it's a nice name, but it's just... God, it's a mouthful. A single card. Just is. Alright, let's keep going. We're almost done. Um, encouraging Courageous Steel Hand. Lou, not a bad card. Is definitely playable uh, for certain builds for him. Three packs and one turn sideways. And just see it. Like. So, maybe that would say. Uh, Got a good card in it for me. Maybe. We have a frontline scout for the blue. And nothing in the back. Nobody cares. Two backs left. Two backs. Middle is in blue. No majestic in the backs there. Okay. So the Bolton is in the last pack for you guys. Oh, second gold foil. I mean, it isn't that great, but it's still a second cold foil. And more majestic. Go over there. I mean, could be better ones. There are worse ones. 
A little dream weavers there, nice little illusion equipment. Nice looking card there. It's double coal foil box. Missing one rainbow foil, so that's a little sad, but that's you know still a good box. That's just for me personally. Personal. Ah, uh, bolting blade. I would like to be able to build a deck that's competitive that can play that well. Tome of Torment, I might do that just for the fun of it. Exude, Confidence, Deep Rooted Evil, Soul Food, and we have a Mark of the Beast. Just the regular rainfall, not the full extended art. We have a Dreamweaver, and we have our legendary hit of a Valiant Dynamo. And the crowd goes wild. It's another legendary. What a stellar case so far. Um, all right. Scene change. All right. Um, so I didn't talk much about the band. Let's get kind of bored. Um, I got a little distracted. <laughs> um, but obviously with the bannings uh, for Lexi's, uh, the only other real thing is Lexi's still going to uh, not having the bullseye brace. There's nothing else that's been done about her for now. Like, that's just how it is. Um, we'll see what happens. I didn't read the full article. I just had a quick skim of it because I was rather in a hurry tonight. But I think it'll be fine. We'll see how it goes. There, there's good matchups and bad matchups for Lexi. She's just very consistent. As long as she gets her stuff going. But there's still ways to beat up, so it's all good. Um, uh, so, if you want me to open the last box out of the same case, you're going to have to twist my arm a little bit to make me do it. Otherwise, this might become a display box. Uh, so, let me know in the comments below whether you want me to, whether you want to try and twist my arm into opening it or not. Uh, it's probably just got common cold foils in it and jank. Um, or it could have a third cold foil library. Who knows? I mean, if it doesn't have uh, another cold foil library, if it has the other set of boots, I'm okay with that too. Um, but I'm not inclined just to open it without, you know, a little nudge. So nudge me in the comments, boys and girls. Likes, comments will nudge me in the right direction for opening that box. Anyway, that's all the time we go for on this episode of BDDE. And we'll catch you all next time. Bye.